and Mo 09-0228-0343. Animal form what ecosystem does the sea animal live in? Sea animals are marine animals and most sea animals live in tropical reefs. A good salinity range for sea anemones to thrive in is about 1.022 to 1.026 specific gravity. However, some can live in cold waters and intertidal reefs and mangroves. The sea anemone seen here is a Ictasia pallida, a symbiotic CNIDARIAN of the Placanthozo and is typically found living on mangrove roots and rocks slash sand. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. What is the taxonomic history of the sea anemone? Sea anemones named after the anemone, a terrestrial flower. Sea anemones are in the phylum CNIDARIA, Placanthozo, and subclass Zonthoria. What adaptations does the sea anemone have to live in this ecosystem? Along with their tentacles, they have developed CNIDOCYTES. <laughs> CNIDOCYTES contain nematocysts. A small vesicle filled with neurotoxins, which is a line of defense and way to catch prey for the animal. Some sea anemones are pelagic and are not attached to hard surface. Some have a gas chamber within the pedal disc so they can float in water and escape predators. Some can remove themselves from the substrate by movements and escape predators. Internal exchange digestive system the mouth is in the middle of the oral disc. It is also the anus of the sea anemone. Waste and undigested matter is excreted through the mouth slash anus. Grooves on the side of the mouth, called siphonophores, have cilia and circulate water through the gastrovascular cavity. The mouth opens into a flattened pharynx, which is about two-thirds the length of the body before opening into the gastrovascular cavity which is the remainder of the body. The gastrovascular cavity itself is divided into mesenteries radiating inwards from the body wall. Mesenteries have a stomach lining on both sides. This includes tissue that secrets digestive enzymes which digest the prey. Bioenergetics What is the sea anemone's metabolism like? Aiptasia have a relatively low metabolism due to their size. Can you take hats in a dignified and sophisticated manner? You mean like a weenie? Okay. May I take your hat too? May I take your hat too? Alright, I've heard enough. You've got the job. What do they prey on? Aiptasia pallida eats small fish and shrimp. Since they are not plants, they can't perform photosynthesis, so they have a symbiotic relationship with the algae. Patrick, is that you? What? I said, is that you? I can't hear you! It's too dark in here! The sea anemone benefits from the output of the algae's photosynthesis, such as oxygen and food in the form of glycerol and glucose. The sea anemone provides the algae with exposure to sunlight and protection from microfibers such as copepods and rotifers. The algae is also protected from predators by the stinging cells called nematocysts. How much prey do they consume? Aiptasia can go long without prey consumption because it can catch food particles from the current, or get energy from its symbiotic relationship. How do they budget their energy from food? The sea anemone benefits from algae's photosynthesis which provides them with energy, which is used by the anemone to capture prey. Morgulation is the sea anemone regulator or conformer. The sea anemone is a conformer, it relies on its environment for its body temperature. Does it rely on radiation, convection, conduction, or evaporation? It relies on radiation from the sunlight for maintaining body temperature slash homeostasis. Fun fact, sea anemones are theoretically immortal and can regenerate themselves from a single cell of the original organism.